The Silk Road is a marvelous historical trade route, connecting the East with the West, and is a tourist route that attracts numerous tourists. Tianchui is the cradle of the Chinese nationality, where Chinese people multiplied and grew civilized. Here was born Fu Shi, father of Chinese civilization, for whom a national-level grand public memorial ceremony is held here every year. In Maiji Mountain, which looks like a stack of wheat, there are over 7,000 sculptures made in different Chinese dynasties. Here, tourists can have an overview of the artistic history of Chinese Buddhism and enjoy the most exquisite Chinese sculptures. Without a look at the snow on top of Qinlian Mountain, you may mistake Ganzhou for a place in the south of the Yangtze River. These two poetic lines talk about Zhang Ye, an oasis in the Gobi Desert, which is well known for its colorful rock mountains in the Zhang Ye Danxia Landform Geological Park, one of the world's top 10 geographic wonders. If Dunhuang can be called the crossroad where the world's four major cultures meet, the Mogao Grotto should be called a sacred cultural temple of humanity. The Mogao Grottos consist of over 700 caves, over 2,400 sculptures, 4,500 square meters of wall paintings, and over 50,000 Dunhuang documents, constituting a Buddhist paradise in the oasis of the Gobi Desert. Here we have a travel back to 2,000 years ago. The wonderful architecture and decorations, together with the beacon towers along the pass, encourage one to strike up a vivid dialogue with history. The long winding camel caravans, the never ceasing crescent spring, and the wonderful great Yardan landform are all breathtaking. The once difficult journeys and treks along the Silk Road have become past memories. The Baojiu Lanzhou Speed Railway, that will be put into use soon, will greatly facilitate the travel along the New Speed Silk Railroad, which is over 2,300 kilometers long. Perceiving a thousand years at one step, covering 10,000 li at a glimpse, the once arduous trek and trudging journey on the Silk Road has become memory of yesterday. Today, countless tourists from home and abroad are going on the golden section of the road, seeking a spiritual homeland of the Silk Road civilization and recording a new chapter of communication in human civilization.